I loved everything. Yeah. And there was a JLC Reverso um, Master. Are you sure? Does it look much different? Yeah. Uh, let me see it a second. Which one the I just put it on the charger for like two minutes, so it didn't really. Gotcha. I know you gotta be out of here. Quick, no, I'm so. good. I, I just checked my watch to see what the fuck time was. No, I'm good. Does it look that different? Yeah. Okay, so stop recording. Let's give it five minutes. Just do it again. Just start again. Yeah. I know it, it seems like you're not in there, but no, I like, believe it. No, yeah. I am. Okay. Hey guys. Yeah, sorry, sorry. That would be funny if you got me out. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, like it's like the most passive aggression. Yeah, that's yeah. what it's yeah. yeah. Brain fart. Uh, huh. Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Federico Talks Watches. As you can see, another triple threat episode. We just did TGVs. Now we're shooting mine. We might do one for Christian. Yep. So you guys are really lucky. You're getting a lot of content. Yeah. You know, so and you're you missing your football man. And I'm missing my foot. Napoli's playing right now, and I'm here recording videos. So you guys should really oh, leave the a sacrifice. Well, you, guys, <laughs> you guys should really leave a thumbs up on this because oh my That's god, the <laughs> fishing for that. <laughs> it's the Champions League. It is. It's the Champions League. All right. Well, talking about regrets. You know, yeah. me missing my match. I figured we'd talk about watch regrets, you know, because people always ask me, you know, like, Federico, what do you regret buying or, or selling or not buying? Like, what do you regret in terms of your watch collection? I figured, you know, you own a ton of pieces and, you know, you own a ton of pieces. I'm sure we've gone through some of this, you know, similar experiences, yeah. right? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, regrets. I figured it'd be a good little subject to get out of the way. Yeah. Should we do resource check? Uh, yeah, we always forget, don't we? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm wearing the Eterna Contiki World Timer, um, you know, on a mesh bracelet. Close-ups on TGV's video, yeah, nice. because I'm too lazy to do them. Yeah. Uh, what about you? i um, doing the Schwarzkopf Navi Timer GMT. Double fisted. Yeah. I'm wearing a, a vintage, as always, a vintage Zodiac, a Aerospace GMT. Uh, I think it's a totally, nice. I, 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 this watch, I, I've been going to back, it's that beautiful. It's <laughs> totally nice. Man. Three millimeters bigger, and I might be able to wear that, but it's so Three beautiful. millimeters bigger and be savage. No, I like where it is. No, <laughs> I, mean, I, I think it's perfect. I, yeah, I think, it's, it's I think, yeah, it's worth really Are you selling this one? Yeah, it's available on the shop at theoharris.com. I, Plug. To... I know. I, it really is tough. What happens is, you know, a little, like, secret. I'll get something in, and then I'll, I'll You'll hold wear it. it and wear it for a couple of weeks, and yeah. then I'll say, okay, I have to let this go now, otherwise, you know. I, I need to, to, I need to learn from yeah. that. I need to do yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right. But, well, you know, I'm sure you have a ton of regrets of stuff you got in that you Yeah, no, sold. Yeah, for sure. I, I'm like, I, I go through so many watches. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we list six watches a week. So that's, yeah, imagine how many things I'm letting go. Mm -hmm. um, I'd say there are a couple watches that I seriously, seriously regret. One, uh, a Zodiac, uh, Zodiac Seawolf. Right. Yes. A watch that, a diving watch that predates the Submariner, uh, a watch that, in my opinion, even has more detail. I'm not saying it's better, right. but it has more detail and more interesting elements. Uh, it's less iconic, but to me the detail is just incredible with the, with the powder blue Bakelite bezel. It, this this yeah, yeah. watch was mint. It wasn't yeah. in the old stock, mm -hmm. but it was mint. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and the fact that I let it go, and you know, it doesn't make any sense to me. In when, when was this? Uh, over, the, uh, over the summer? No, you know what? Last summer. I let this right. go over a year ago. Uh, up to Canada, I think. I actually went to Canada. Because yeah, I was going to say, I didn't see one of those on your shop. No, I, I thought we were I, I, well, I, You know, the thing is with Zodiacs is because they were the more affordable option back then, yeah. people beat the hell out of them. And right. they can't really, you know, for me, I, I like to have a, a very serious worth. regard for, for quality. Mm. You know, They're so. worth a lot of money now. I mean, they're getting... You know what? We'll just keep going. <laughs> you can tell on his face, he's like, "No, no perfection." <laughs> All right, fine. I'm keeping. I'm keeping that moment in though. <laughs> you should keep that moment. Yeah. In there. Go, go on. We're All right, guys. So obviously, welcome to In the Dark with the <laughs> <laughs> with Federico. Somewhere you never want to be with Federico. <laughs> obviously, guys, the lights just died, and we don't have time to recharge them. Yeah. But you know, we're not the 
prettiest of people, so no. you just listen to us. No. <laughs> Face for radio, if you will. <laughs> it's radio. All right. So yeah. Okay. So that's a regret. Um, <laughs> what do you got? What, what do you regret, Federico? Yeah. Well, mine comes from like my retail days. I mean, I was working at Wampy, and, and you know when business is slow. I mean, you know, other other than regretting buying cheap lights. <laughs> Oh, you're, you're a funny guy. If you guys can't tell right now, the disdain in his heart for like improper lights is palpable. I, I can taste okay the disdain right now. Because he's a Mr. Production quality over here. Hey, I'm learning every day. I don't, you know, I'm a sound guy. I don't well, know. Just, just enjoy sitting. In the yeah. Dark. All right. Fine. fine. No, but I was saying, you know, like yeah. if, when business is slow and you're a sales associate, all you do is stare at cases all day, yeah. and you love watches. You stare at fifty. 50, what I mean, 500 yeah. watches a day, you mm -hmm. love all of them. And there was a Giga La Cultura, mm -hmm. Reverso, Grand Calendar, or Master Calendar, I don't remember the exact mm -hmm. name. And it had been sitting in the store for three years. So it had gone through Jeez, three, wow. it gone through three price increases. Wow. Um, and no one had bought it. God knows why. It's the gorgeous JLC with the moon phase. This, this was here in New York, right? This was here in New York. Right. And, you know, there's a little thing in the computer where you can check the employee price. Yeah, and I picked it up and I put it in and it was like 65% off for employees. Oh because God. it had gone through three oh. increases. Yeah. So I could have picked this like $13,000 watch up for like five and change. Right. And I almost did it and I almost did it. And, uh... And, and you know, did. and, and, and a, a yeah. week passed, two weeks passed, I was going to do it, and like on the fourth week, this person, my colleague, sold it at like a 20% discount, oh, and like, I couldn't pick it up, because I didn't move quick enough, and yeah. oh. dude, that was like, that was a kick-ass watch, yeah. you know, with box and That's papers, brand, for sure. yeah. brand new, crazy discount, yep. A complicated, not a simple one. I love the simple ones, but a yeah, complicated yeah. Serious reversal. Yeah, watch, serious watch, yeah. yeah. And it's not mine, you know, because I was too slow. Yeah. You know, I figured I, I, it's been here three years. I got, I got a little bit more time on it. Yeah, no, so, but you didn't. As soon as I got interested, it sold. Uh, How about you? What do you regret? Mine is rather boring now. It's it's just a, a G Shock. <laughs> <laughs> I regret selling a G-Shock. Really? Well, which one? Yeah, it was um, actually I, I, a, a viewer has very kindly given me because I, I mentioned this on the channel. Uh, it was the Rise Man. It was um, oh, yeah. a dual sensor. It has uh, altimeter and barometer. And I sold it. I, I think I wanted to upgrade to the the, the Range Man. It came out came out with the three three uh, ABC, the altimeter, barometer, and compass. And I thought, yeah, I'll get that. It was far too big, big mistake. And what happens, of course, the price of the Rise Man just skyrocketed. Oh boy. You know, and. So, story yeah, of our life. Yeah, and who would have thought a G Shock would have literally doubled in price? Yeah, it happens. But a viewer, and you know who you are, uh, who I met forever in your debt, sent theirs in and just said, oh keep my God. It. And That's so oh, generous. So you got one back. Yeah, I got so one it's not a regret. You got out winning. Like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> That's incredible. That's really generous. Wow. Yeah, really That's generous. generous. Yeah, yeah, but hold on. We're here telling tales of whoa, and now <laughs> the other guy goes. Jesus Christ. We're officially in the dark, I people. I have to go, too. I hate you so much. <laughs> All right, listen, guys. We'll wrap it up. Why don't we call this video one big blooper reel? <laughs> <laughs> this video is a regret. <laughs> yeah, this yeah, video is a regret. I'm not editing it at all. <laughs> But uh, yeah, next time I'll be more prepared. Boom, watch them. <laughs> Ciao. Uh, subscribe. Take care. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was funny though. <laughs>